Hi, I'm Dr. David Myers. Today, we're gonna to take off a big biogenic granuloma. This young lady saw one of our videos earlier. She lives south of here a few hours since she came up, and I think we're gonna be able to take care of this today. So this is a pyogenic granuloma. It is a vascular neoplasm. These grow really quick and they bleed like crazy. So the typical way we do this is take these off. These are pedunculated lesions, which means they have a narrow base. We take these off, we usually cauterize the base, and I'd say 85-90% of the time they do not come back. These bleed pretty abundantly, so that, so and this has a little bit of a a bandage on it that just won't come off. So That big massive thing has just like a pencil eraser um, defect down there. Is it off? Yeah, it's oh, off. So why don't yes. you, if you just hold right there. You caught it, I Yes, ma'am. That's it. Not crazy. That's really. That's all. That's it. This cautery does two things. Can I get another gauze, please? It um, it stops the oozing, but it also keeps it from coming back. And look at all that from just that that pyogenic granuloma sitting there. And just gets, gets all that fluid and and uh, swelling and liquid. It's kind of macerated around the outside. The finger's gonna heal so good. So that's it. No skin graft. This is just to try to keep it from coming back. Again, that spark is fulguration, and that just causes enough. Tiny, actually, it's still losing a tiny bit more. Let me do that one more time. And that had an arterial supply into it, if you saw it. I've talked about this in videos before. This is fulguration, where it arcs, where it arcs. When you touch it, it's electrodesiccation. Electrodesiccation causes a little bit more destruction which in a pyogenic granuloma, we need that. But the fulguration um, is actually better in most cases to stop the oozing because then you don't cause damage. All right, let's bandage that up and isn't that awesome? Yeah. Sweet, I'm so glad. Oh, You'll be so happy to see that off. Mm -hmm.